Hello, this is a Superman and Liu Zhang. What happened to 50-50 in Korea? Today I'm going to talk about full process about 50-50 in English. Attract is a South Korean entertainment agency and label founded in 2021. 50-50 is a four-member South Korean girl group from the under Attract. The group made their debut on November 18, 2022 with their EP, The 50. Their group name, 50-50, means 50 versus 50, which means a 50-50 probability and also contains the meaning of idea and reality, respectively. 50-50's agency, Attract, and the external production team, The Givers, work together from the company's establishments to nurture 50-50 members. An Song Il, CEO of The Givers, also served as co-representative of Attract in the early days of establishment, but later changed his title to producing PD under Attract. In the management of 50-50, Attract's CEO John Hong-Jun was in charge of external management such as financial support, execution, planning, and management. And the givers decided to take charge of the members' production and outsourcing of A&R work. In fact, this structure was carried out and later the givers succeeded in attracting 10 billion won in investment from Kyobo Book Center. The first album, The 50, did not produce great result, but later, the EP, The Beginning Cupid, which was released by the givers to CEO An Song Il after signing a partnership contract with Warner Music Korea, achieved the feat of being on the U.S. Billboard chart, and the group began to form in earnest, started to emerge. After member Aran's injury and recovery, both the company and the group took a break to prepare for the U.S. comeback album and attract investment. During this hiatus, a controversy arose that the givers forced the members to terminate their exclusive contracts through outside intervention. And afterward, a track released a transcript claiming to contain the circumstances of the givers' outside intervention. On June 23rd, the management agency Attract said in a statement the outside for forces disregarded the valid exclusive contract and signed a contract with them because of slanderous accusations against the company and glorification of a flattery against themselves. They are committing illegal acts to induce them to enter into a contract. We will respond calmly and resolutely and fight to the end without any compromise with these external forces and hold them legally accountable, he said. A track insisted that an outsourcing service company and the Warner Music Korea appear to be involved behind the recent case of extortion by outside forces. In addition, it was also revealed that the service company had captured the circumstances in which it offered to sell 50-50 to Warner Music Korea. At the same time, it sent a proof of content to Warner Music Korea requesting clarification and expression of a position. Warner Music Korea which was accused of stealing 50-50 members, made an official statement saying the Attract's claim was 
ground lease. A track said in an official press release, On this day, we filed a complaint uh, with the Gangnam Police Station against the An Song Il, the CEO of the Givers, and three others in the process of taking over the business. The Givers disclosed the reasons for delaying the takeover, deleting company email accounts and project related data, obstruction of business, damage to electronic records, fraud, and breach of trust in business. In addition, in the process of purchasing the sound source Cupid from a foreign composer, the givers did not provide information about the copyright purchase to attract and claimed that he and his company secretly bought the copyright. On the other hand, regarding the sending of the content certification to Warner Music Korea last time, he said, Mono Music Korea is not the third in pure force, and I asked for the position to express whether there is a connection with that force. All 50-50 members, Kina, Sena, Seo, and Ran, applied for a provisional injunction to suspend the exclusive contract with the agency attract through the law firm Baroon on June 19th and announced their official position that the trial is in progress. This is a major taken as a result of a direct breach of a contract and the destruction of a trust, he said. The main reason was that the agency did not clearly explain the contract violation and despite the non-transparent settlement and health condition, they made it difficult to work. Unilaterally and forcefully and without consultation with the parties, there was an act of disclosing the reason for the surgery. Through official statements, the givers insisted that there was no fact that the company had any involvement in a direct claim of intervention by external forces. In addition, regarding the application for injunction to suspend the validity of the exclusive contract, rather we did our best to act as a bridge between a direct and the members and the company insisted that we had maintained a neutral stance without disclosing any position between a tract and 50-50. Regarding a tract's complaint, they said, we have appointed a law firm Hanu and will take strong legal action against the first accusation and continuous spread of false information against CEO John Hong Jun and our company's representative, Attract. Attract released a transcript of a call with one of Music Korea executive director Yoon as proof of external intervention. The content of the recording file dated May 19th contains information about the givers to see you An Sung Il try to proceed with a buyout with a one of Music Korea is security director Yoon, without the consent of CEO John Hong Jun. The givers refuted the claim through an official statement regarding the call recording released by Attract, and announced that it would take strong legal action if the spread of false information and defamation continues. In a track, CEO An Song Il claims to have independently discussed with Warner Music Korea about the future of 50-50 members, but he insisted that this is not true. Warner Music Korea suggested a label deal structure and said that they hoped for a discussion with a track CEO John Hong Jun and connected them. In addition, they argued that they only delivered one of Music Korea's proposal because they 
though to erode the benefit the company and artists in the long run to attract, which was in need of a lack of funds and stable operation. He argued that the givers was not a decision maker and did not play any unnecessary role in it. A notice was posted on the 50-50 official fan cafe that they could not attend KCON LA 2023, which was scheduled to attend on August 19th due to internal circumstances of the agency. Through dispatch, an article exposing the truth about the copyright of Barbie OST and Cupid was released. On June 19th, the first interrogation day for the application for injunction to suspend the validity of the exclusive contract filed by the 5050 members against the attract was held at the 50th Civil Division of the Seoul Central District Court. At this interrogation, 5050 members and attract CEO John Hongjun did not attend, only the litigation agent of each side. 5050 said that attract received an advance payment of 9 billion won from Interpark under the name of Star Crew ENT and signed a distribution contract, and that it has never notified or agreed to this uh, to the members, and in the settlement data received thereafter. The revenue from the music success was listed as 01. Insisted. In addition, they claimed that 6 billion won of the advance payments was used as investment money for 5050, but it was unclear how it was used and whether it was really used for the members. As a result, the relationship of trust was broken and the exclusive contract uh, could not be maintained. Treg explained to the members about the advance payments distribution contract between Starcrew ENT and Interpark when signing the exclusive contract and reputed that the members also agree. In addition, he said that part of the settlement data was delivered late and was omitted due to the mistake of the outsourcing company, and that the claim of non-fulfillment of the settlement obligation was not a reason for the termination of the exclusive contract because all the data was provided within the requested period. In addition, I feel sorry for the suffering of a young artist due to this incident. I would like to discuss it as soon as possible but I tried to contact you. But there was no opportunity. I strongly believed in it. I hope that uh, we can discuss it uh, so that it can be reserved amicably for the future of a young artist. The first interrogation ended with the court ordering that additional materials to be submitted by July 19th and that additional rebuttals be completed within a week from then. In a statement, the givers strongly criticized the tract, which provided the data, saying that the article about Cupid's copyright shared reported by dispatch was a distorted report. Expressing regret for the fact that the veteran producer with 30 years of experience cannot distinguish between copyright and neighboring rights. He said, the claim that the givers purchased the copyright for the song free paid by a tract is an obvious false fact that cannot be established claimed. Originally, the tracks on side registered only the English name 5050 as the trade name of 5050, but on June 19, 2023, the same day that the application for injunction to suspend the exclusive contract was filed for a tract. 5050 and each member name were changed. It turned out that an application for trademark registration had been filed. It is said that the person who registered the trademark is the same 
as the name of the family of four members of Ran, Kina, Sina, and Shio. The agency of trade has already applied for the Korean trademark for 50-50 on May 15th for the singer performance industry and additionally applied for other classifications on June 15th. Since even similar trademarks are treated as the same, the rights will be in the track that applied for the trademark first. Dispatch released a report on the change of copyright holder and a transcript of CEO John Hong Jun and CEO An Song Il at the same through YouTube. After the release of the transcript, the press contacted to hear the position of the givers said, please refer to the statement in advance and replied that they would not respond in any way. However, According to the previously announced confidentiality clause, an official interviewed by dispatch about some of the allegations that he avoided answering said, just because we bought the rights of the original author, the composer's name is not taken out. We just bought the rights with the money and with the composer? Unusually author's name. In the second half, he said that he had succeeded in contacting the composers and revealed that he would continue the exhibition. A threat to sue the CEO and Song Il of the givers for embezzlement and forgery of private documents on 7th July. In the absence of broadcasting activities, in the absence of members' recognition, in the state of the mega hit, but only one song, the conflict between the agency and our sourcing production and the members' hasty choice. Before the members became known to the public, everyone voluntarily became involved in the group. There are many opinions that it is running themselves. Some compare it to Dark and Darker, which caused an incident earlier this year. There are many analyzed by Attract and CEO John Hong Jun that big losers are inevitable no matter how the dispute ends. Needless to say, if all the members leave the agency in a situation where sunk costs have already been incurred, and even if they remain with the agency through agreements, etc., the image of the members will deteriorate so much that it is unclear whether they will be able to recover their popularity. As the members claim, even if there is a profit, there is a high possibility that the existing investment funds will be recovered in mass. Above all, as the members said, trust has really been broken. So even if the conflict is dramatically reserved and the members remain in the company, there is no possibility that they can continue to work together in harmony in a situation where distrust between the agency and the group is already prevalent. Quite a low. In addition, both the entertainment industry and the media say that the work has become too big and the image has been destroyed. So the current members are already responding that it is impossible to turn back the public's mind. In addition, while a track presents evidence through phone recordings, the givers failed to present a single proper evidence to support their claims. In fact, the main public opinion is that the Life of 50-50 members as a celebrity is completely over. Even if a compromise was made in a miraculously quick time, CEO John Hong Jun and Attract give up their right to 50-50, and 50-50 became a member of the givers, but the fact that trademark disputes and legal disputes had already crossed too big a river in an alternative. It is a negative view from the standpoint of companies that give CFO work. There is no guarantee that an idol group that betrays 
the invested representative will not be stepped again, so it is unlikely to invest. P. D. An Song Il is also the same. He received the unconventional treatment from CEO Jeon Hong Jun of interesting most of the authority over his own idols. And this is the treatment that is truly full of trust that is rarely seen in the idol industry. However, it is very likely that other agencies will not accept him. There is no guarantee that he will not be stabbed in the back again. In particular, as the Yeon Jae openly expressed their anger at this situation, even if there is an agency that recognizes An Song Il PD's ability, they will not be able to entrust him with the producing because they are paying attention to the Yeon Jae Yup and the fans. Considering the growth of 50-50, it helped to make an idol group that could grow on A level or higher in the future and perhaps to become a world-class group like BTS in a statement of inability to recover, and as a result, even their own plans were ruined. It is CEO John Hong Jun who gave PD An Song Il the opportunities, who seems to have had no significant performance in the past 10 years, including Rumble Pieces, Ura Cha Cha, which was released in 2005. It's because they are showing the truth and they are not putting out proper evidence and they are showing behavior that has no choice but to gather negative opinions that is the first or that they can say it. In particular, there is a concern that small and medium-sized agency may stagnate as a whole due to this situation. Existing situations in which the agency and the either side went to court battles were overwhelmingly caused by problems on the management side, such as unfair contracts, the corruption, and deviation of high-ranking officials from the company and increased damage to idols due to financial disadvantages. There was a strong perception that if you do well, there will be no problem, but this situation is completely different. Despite the agency's best effort, it is being perceived as a situation in which the outsourcing company urges the idol to terminate the contract with the agency, and the idol members to grab the outsourcing company's hand with their voices chasing only profits. If the management side loses, if there are idols who miraculously succeed in the future from small and medium-sized agencies, the second and third 50-50 incidents may occur in which external forces with financial capital approach the idols, seduce them, collude with them, and transfer them. This is the why the public's reaction to 50-50 was cold.